Hey everybody, Tim from Workshop 12 here, going to give you a bit of a Brainiac uh, update. So kind of a status update where we are with everything. So today we're going to start off talking a little bit about the FRS. Uh, so the FRS BRZ, uh, we had originally created some plastics back in the day um, for a certain screen and a different approach that we're taking to the car. Um, we now have Matt and the guys at uh, Ballon Bay going through and redesigning those plastics to hold the Galaxy S2 9.7 inch. It's the only tablet that we could get in there that was a decent sized screen uh, that would also fit inside of, uh, inside of the space. There's a little bit of trimming you have to do on the inside of the, I guess you call it the skeleton of the inside of the dash to get everything to fit, but it should go fine. Um, so they're finishing up those designs on the plastic um, and then from there, it's really test printing and, uh, and, and test fitting uh, to see how that all goes. Now, Gerald on the other end is working on the climate control system for the FRS. So we are tackling the dual zone auto climate control uh, because it's something that's computerized and it's something that we can actually control that way without having to do our own servos or certain things. So that's what we're trying to tackle first. We might be able to get the manual one as well, but that's where we're heading first. So. Gerald has it all working, um, so the circuitry is working, he has his own uh, FRS BRZ where he is testing it out on, so the circuitry seems to be working well. The next part is for us to create the software interface between Brainiac and the climate control board so that you're able to control it all from the touch screen. So that's the next step that we have there. Um, so that will be happening next, we'll keep everybody posted uh, for any updates that we have there. Um, another interesting thing for the WRX STI, so the 05 to 07 STI that we support, also sent down a climate control unit down to Gerald who's going to take a look at to see if we can actually get that working as well. It's a little less complicated than the BRZ, um, so that would give us the full climate control solution for the STI uh, as well. So we're going to see how that all goes, so that electronics has been shipped down to them. Um, and then really we've got some software updates. So version 3 is just around the corner, uh, we've got some different things in there, I think we're going to be able to sneak in landscape mode into that one, um, but we also have the ability for hiding icons on your main grid, we have the relay uh, application and configuration, we're just finalizing that as well, um, and you've got a lot more different settings that you can do to personalize you know, how you want your gestures to work and those sorts of things. Um, another interesting thing is Gerald is looking at actually creating and designing a board that would be Arduino and relays all in one. Um, so he's got some different designs on that that we're looking at. Uh, so that would be cool if we can bring that out as well instead of just the off the shelf parts. Um, and then into version four of the software uh, is where we're starting to take a look at doing things like actually supporting Android uh, head units. So joying, pumpkin, those sorts of uh, different head units to be able to have Brainiac installed in there, control and read days. We want to bring our air controller back in, uh, ODB2 uh, settings and diagnostics and all that kind of stuff. Um, and bring that into both a tablet or an Android head unit uh, form factor. So we have a couple different uh, devices coming. I think we've got a just under seven inch and a 10 inch um, joying uh, devices on the way that we're gonna do some testing on. So we'll keep everybody posted on where we are with that as well. So that's a lot. Um, so we've got a bunch of things on the go. As always, we'll keep everybody up to date on our social media channels. Whenever we have news information there, be sure to check in um, and we'll keep, uh, keep giving you the news as soon as we have it.